What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So that leads me into a new kind of topic, but I mean, most preferred landing spot in my mind, JJ Watt is leaving Texas. He's leaving Houston. Yes. And th- first of all, thank God, because that franchise is a tire fire and we're going to sit, we're going to talk about Houston. So this is going to be chopped up in bits for anyone that's watching. Um, we're going to have different individual segments, very much like the Pat McAfee show. That's um, good. But we are going to talk about Houston now for a little bit because there's Dude, a that, lot happening here. Dumpster fire. Dumpster fire. Poor management from the top to the middle to the anybody who deals with players. <laughs> so they let let's start. Let's roll back the clock a year. They trade DeAndre Hopkins. What the f for pennies on the dollar. Pennies on the dollar. And then Hopkins has one of, if not his best season ever. Whip fingers up the whole time. You know, oh, like, yeah, just, like, just no. straight flipping the bird picking, the entire time. Picking things out of Odell who kind of stuff. Yeah. One handed all over the place and had like three drops. Like that was literally it. He doesn't. And drop. no. So that happens. They. Instead, get Brandon Cooks, who is fine. He's a, he's a I, we've we've oh, talked I, about him in the past. You showed him respect by not saying like he's nothing because he's not nothing, but he is just fine. He's fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He's a good flex, and that's that's the best thing I can say about he's, him. That's a good comment. I like that. He's fine. He's fine. We're not we're not taking him down. He would be bummed to hear that. He would be bummed. But to the <laughs> football, <laughs> to people that either play fantasy or know the team. You, they feel the same way. They're like, that is a downgrade from D-Hop. And we all have to know that. But we're not in a nothing. He's not a nothing. He can do a lot of great things. But dang it, you had what could be argued is the numero uno. And and now you do not. Now you have a top 25 guy. Well, and then they lose enough games to end up what would have been picking third. But because of poor management by Bill O'Brien... The former coach, who they then fired, even though this was all his his vision, they don't have a pick in the first two rounds, I believe. That third pick is going to the Miami Dolphins. Miami. (laughs) And they now have J.J. Watt gone. J.J. Watt has been released. He's been cut. And Deshaun Watson has been overwhelmingly vocal about his distaste for the way that everything's going. I mean, and I mean, where are you at on the, those two and the treatment that is different between the two of this? I, I'm on the get to Sean out of Houston, get him out of Houston. I am on that train, but I want to touch first with JJ because I think if JJ is looking for a ring, if he's looking to lock in a top three defensive end, a top three edge, a top three, whatever you want to consider him at his position in this decade, he's got to get a ring. Yes. And where is the best place to get a ring right now, if not Tampa? Well, okay. All the time, their D-line is vicious and just had Patty Mahomes on his heels the entire Super Bowl. Yes. And it's it works out for me in my mind for JJ because – in my mind, starter JJ only starts eight games for you, eight to ten a season because wear and tear, he's getting older. You get to put him in a rotation. You give him Wednesdays, Thursdays off. That You get the 12, 14 games out of JJ, and you get to put him in on pass rushing downs where he's going to make his money. Yes. It's, it's compelling, right? It's compelling. What is his level of ring wantedness? If you will, but I think there's some AFC spots also that that could make sense. There's obvi- I mean, again, I don't know. I don't have like the cap availability in front of me, nor what he would be due for his 
he's not a veteran minimum guy, so he's no. got a name. He's won, I think, like five defensive player of the years. That might be too a lot many. of them. It's a lot of them. It's a, it's a lot of them. And his workout ethic and work ethic, coaches like. Coaches like, cities like him, fans like him. He's so marketable, I, I'm I'm not sure it's that quick a fit. Where it's like, yeah, he wants a ring, so he goes to the one that just won. Does he do, you know he's getting texts? You know he's getting texts, right? And do the Chiefs want to make a move? They the defense is not necessarily where they need it, but they didn't show well against the uh, the Bucks at all. The O line obviously missing Fisher was really key. It was in, 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 it, right. That he was running his life. There are really compelling stories. What I don't want to see is him go, and I don't think he will to a Jets or to a no. you know a team that I don't think it's going to happen. Who could just throw money? I don't think he's going to do that. No, I think he's chasing the legacy for sure. Yeah. Do you think he goes to Pittsburgh? It's an interesting storyline that the Pittsburgh fans really want to see the three brothers come together. You know, never really been happened kind of thing. There's three of them. There's two that play there now. A fullback and the the best, argue, maybe the best linebacker in the game or whatever, T.J. Watt. Um, it's interesting. I don't think that's a, a Super Bowl ring, though, as easily. I think they saw some offensive issues. And the 11-0 and was full of holes, right? It was 11-0, and but it wasn't the 11-0 and that it was made up to be. Pittsburgh was not as good as their record showed. I know that team better. almost beat them and that's that's bad. That's a lot of good. a lot of teams technically almost beat them. They had a small win margin, uh, a point margin for quite a few of those wins. As cool as that storyline is, that would to me be him just wanting to do it to be with family, not to get the ring. So if we're both in agreement that that's the missing piece from his mantle, I don't see it. I, I think we're looking at a real contender. The Rams come up for me. They just got a new quarterback. They already have some action. They also have Aaron Donald, who runs interior, not exterior. What does that look like? That, that defensive line would be obscene. That would be awful to go against. He, he makes a lot of teams obscene, though, doesn't he, JJ? He goes to quite a few places that are – Bucks is one, mind you. They have friggin' a great line. You bring in another guy, and like to your point – Hopefully the coaches wake up and realize we can use him on not every down and kill here. We save him and he comes out like a monster on third and third down, second down. Yeah. If you play him every defensive snap after the, after, you know, four minutes in the fourth quarter, you're still getting 11 minutes of JJ, but he's fresh and he's going to rip a rookie right tackle, a rookie left tackle, a rookie interior lineman to shreds he's gonna be a sack monster at that point especially with a with a that's why i think he he goes to a real sturdy d that's in position to to go places right are there a few teams that didn't get as far as they were hoping or other people thought like the titans and there are some places now i don't know other than he's a big wisconsin boy from the college and from his family my next my next question was do you see him making a an appearance in Green Bay, and then what does that do to Aaron Rodgers? Because I feel like if you're going to go, all right, defense, if you don't draft a wide receiver in this draft, I I don't know what Aaron Rodgers is going well, to be able to do for you. He loves Devontae Adams. He loves Devontae Adams. If they get a tight end even, that's next level, the new age tight end, right? They've been lack. They tried with Jimmy. They tried to bring in what they thought was the – the, we'll call it the Kelsey Kittle, not even, I can't even really give it to Ertz anymore, but like there's that new version of what a tight end could be. I think that's what Green Bay needs if they get the D help because Devontae Adams, even, and, and MVS, really strong. Like some of these guys are getting there. I think it's Lazard really showed some promise. So I think they're a tight end and a defensive player away. So the, to me, one of the more interesting storylines is him going home, if you will, to, to And I forget, I think his family even has property there. In, yeah, in I Wisconsin. think they're from Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I think they're, it's a really interesting storyline. The new Rodgers that we kind of talked about before we started recording, that the Pat McAfee learned more about Rodgers. He's, he's really connected. I think that could be a really good fit with how much they care about football, but also both care about life now, right? J, JJ showed how much the game is important to him, but also being a humanitarian and that. And Aaron Rodgers is leveling his kind of 
compassion meter up and he played his most fun best football of his dang career you terrifying put, by the way i i i want that to be the way it goes even though i'm a dolphin fan and i would say i'd love jj watt of course i would i just don't think it's the best situation for jj watt yeah you're you're still a couple years away from from making some noise so with that I, I think we both are in agreement. I think a Wisconsin, Green Bay, J.J. Watt would just be so much fun. And and it would definitely be – it would put the NFC on on notice. Like, that would be a shot at Tom Brady. It happens. We have a good storyline. No matter who wins what, we're going to have it. We're going to either have the State Farm Bowl or we're going to have the GOAT versus the maybe next, That the MJ LeBron. They were just frothing at all the storylines. I think we're looking at a very good storyline year again. Uh, again, there's some few complications with Deshaun. I know we're going to get to that and everything, but things are looking interesting to to be a football fan for this coming season.